Yo, what's up, guys? It's your girl's Miss B of the 415 Podcast. What's up? Hi, guys. Why is she making all that noise on her end? Oh, it's a lot of noise going on? <laughs> I thought it was just me talking. <laughs> it sounded like something hitting her microphone. <laughs> Oh, child, I don't know what's going on. Yo, what's happening over there, yo? What's happening in Georgia? Um, I don't know. It was just raining. Storming a little bit. Oh, wow. You know how Jesus. you do with the storm. Yeah, you, yeah, you already know. I, I don't understand why my job don't understand. Take cover! My job, every time it, it, it starts lightning and thunder, I tell them I, I got to get off the computer. <laughs> I got a bathroom break I need to take right now. Oh, I'm like, I got, I got to get off the computer now. Mm-mm-mm. So what's good? How was the week? Uh, the week was... Damn, I, see, I, I just did yarn on the mic. Mm. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Listen, y'all, I got a, a migraine headache. And I'm still trying to deliver, honey. You feel me? Um, The week was cool, but I, like I said, I have a migraine and um, I think I know where it stemmed from. I had a burger on Friday. Red meat. And it had bacon on it. Mm-hmm. But then I don't know because then yesterday was kind of, it was hot. It, I didn't start getting it until yesterday, but I didn't eat anything in the morning. Mm-mm-mm. I had jumped up out of the bed, went to down to the river, she said, I went down to the river. Yeah, down to the river. Of the river of Georgia. Then I didn't eat until maybe two, so that might be the reason, but the I don't know. Was and it was Did hot. Did you drink any water? And it was hot. So when I got outside, I felt like Thanos snapped me away. Did she drink any water? Yeah, I had water. Well, a little bit. How much? Oh, see, exactly. There you go. <laughs> no food, no water. And then I still got it. It's so bad. It was in my eye this morning when I woke up. Mm-hmm. Like it was around the perimeter of my head last night. The perimeter, like neck, back, forehead, temple, eye, and it, all the pain just moved to the eye. I was like, man, this is some bullshit. Got to be more careful. Still don't know where that line come from. Dang. It come from Friday at the next. I don't know. I've been trying to search for it and it don't come up anywhere. Yeah, that's where it comes from. Man. But yeah, my week was long but short at the same time because of the 4th of July holiday. I went to a, I guess you can call it like a mansion pool party, barbecue. Mm-hmm. Last minute because I sure was so good about sitting on that couch all day. I didn't care. I mean, it's just hot and just like, oh, you don't really want to be outside like that. But it turned out to be a little cool, little thing, you know. Right. Right around the way. So, coolie. Oh, yesterday it stormed like it didn't have no sense. Thunderstorm. It was raining hard today. Hot. And I'm gonna make you a thunderstorm. What? Went to church. Today Sunday, y'all. When y'all listen, it's Wednesday. But. The message today was reclaiming my life. I was like, you know what? It is the seventh month. It is the first Sunday. So on my post, I was like, you know what? It's the refresh, the restart. The first Sunday. We got six more months to get it right, y'all. Six more months. What you going to do with your six months? And for those who don't know, you know, if y'all follow, you know, it's today starts re- Mercury in retrograde. <laughs> Who? <laughs> Mercury in retrograde, honey. That means shit mm-hmm. about to go upside down. <laughs> Ooh, it's don't hot. sign no contracts. Don't do nothing. You don't want to regret it. Wait after three weeks. Lord, Lord, these people call me. I'm about to sign them on. I mean, <laughs> but I'm saying like... You know, it's a lot of things with technology be messing up and mm-hmm. the car be acting up and 
folks is going to be getting on your nerve for the next three weeks. So just be prepared because the retrograde is happening. I'm going to say I'm going to be cooling. That thing going to skip over me. <laughs> All right. So when you come look, to me. I already week, went. Look, I already went. Look, look, when you come to me next week, I'm like, girl, I told you retrograde was in the. And I'll be the- like, nah, I ain't hit me up. We over here. Shoot. Sunshine. Hmm. Word. But um, we can't figure out a topic, y'all. This episode 62. 61, we was talking about who waiting for marriage to have sex or whatever. That was a cool little topic, you know, real quick. Debate that, you know, being celibate and all that good stuff. But this week, I'll, what we got? We can jump into hot topics. What's, what's new? What happened? The um, U.S. women team, women's team, just won their fourth World Cup in soccer. Ooh. How they do it? Go! <laughs> oh yeah, That's congratulations! Congrats, Congrats to them. Yes, women. Um, Miss Miss um, Miss Haley Bailey, honey. <laughs> yeah, everybody been calling her Holly Berry for the last couple of days. Right, Miss Haley Bailey, then 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 scored the role for Miss for the Little Mermaid, honey. You know how excited I am. <laughs> Do you understand? Get him, Holly. Get him. Black uh, Ariel. Right. And I had to put up a post about that the other day because I was like, you know, this is touching my heart because, you know. Yeah, you know, you're a Disney fan, yeah. <laughs> no, not only because I'm a Disney fan. So you I'm going to just. Yourself, like. Huh? Highlighted. Huh? Huh? <laughs> what what you say? <laughs> <laughs> she sure how to say, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I said a lot of people, you know, really excited because they really haven't seen themselves, you know, in such a big light, you know, outside of Princess. What's her name? Tiana. Right. So this this is what I posted on my Instagram um on Friday. So about Little Mermaid. I said Little Mermaid is like my top three fave Disney Disney movie. I remember when I was in elementary and we were putting on the place Little Mermaid. I remember trying to dance my tail off, gave my best moves, and uh, and was beat out by Miss Sarah. In my head, I was like, "How?" I was in my head. I was like, "How?" She can't even dance. Then I quickly realized Keita did not look like Ariel, but I was given the role of a fish and then moved to seaweed because I had I could dance and had great mo- and had great movement. But child, let me tell you that little that little girl and me can't wait to see this this black queen as a little mermaid. So mm-hmm. you know that's that, I, was, I was hurt by that, honey. <laughs> Sarah can't dance. Dang. She can't do nothing. I mean, but she ain't gonna be dancing though. She's swimming. And she does. You gotta have movement swimming in the ocean. <laughs> you understand? <laughs> I was no. upset. I mean, I wasn't upset like that. I was just mad. I, it, so, okay. I wasn't mad that, you know, she got it. Initially, it was like, wow, she ain't, she can't dance. What can she do? She, don't, she ain't got a movement or nothing. So, as we're going through the practices for the play, I was like, whatever. They gave me two different roles. And then on the night of the play, that's when I realized. I was like, oh, Erica put on that red wig <laughs> and looked like Ariel. Mm-hmm. Mm, that's why I ain't get it. So at a very young age, I understood exactly what was going on. I think Look, I did. Let me tell you something. So I'm so excited. And honey, did you did you hear Haley's voice? Everybody knows she can sing. They can. But that this, whole crew. This they... clip. I mean, I haven't heard her sing, but I'm saying this clip that's going around. Hmm. Ooh, baby, I can't wait. To she, it's it's on. That's all I got to say. They 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 are doing their thing. Positive girls, just you know, just doing it. Discovered on YouTube by Beyonce. (laughs) Come on, and you could tell that they kind of been working with her because they they have a little Beyonce sound. Mm -hmm. But they but but the crazy part is they worked with her before. 
Mm-hmm. And um, like now the I, movie I, um, what's the movie with her and Cuba Gooden Jr. Um, um, Car- Carmen? No, no, not Carmen. Um, uh, it's the one with her and Cuba Gooden at, at the church. Oh, oh yeah, I know what you're talking about. They was in. They were in that movie. Mm. Yeah, I remember that movie, but I can't remember the name of it. But um. Yeah, I feel like ever since they really been working closely with her, you can hear mm-hmm. a lot the Fighting Temptations. Yeah, um, that's the name of the movie. You can hear Beyonce sound in them. Like when they were doing their own thing on their YouTube channels, they had their really their own sound. But you can like when they did um, what award show was it that they came out and they sang? One of those award shows. I was like, woo. You could tell that is a mm-hmm. Beyonce group right there. But like her voice is just mm-hmm. like Yeah. Oh my God. Like it's real. I was like the the control that she has. Mm-hmm. Like this a, it's a this a little bit of it right here. Unforgettable. That's what you are. Hmm. Unforgettable. Gone to your fault. I mean, that's it. But yeah. <laughs> I was like, honey, that girl, she took me mm-hmm. all the way back. Way back. I was like, damn. Yep. That's real. I'm proud. When I saw that come through, I was like, see, we making strides where we need to. You know, obviously there's a lot of places, you know, a lot of areas where, you know, we need to be seen more and heard more. But when we keep getting these these wins right here. And people yeah. are and people are upset. Oh yeah, they're upset. I mean, the white people, they they mad. And there was one white girl that got, that came out and said, first of all, y'all need to get it together. We've been in everything. Mm-hmm. Black people have not really seen anything like them in any Disney since ever. You know, then Tiana came about. So what's the problem? Stop being extra. I was like, she shut him down in so many words. Hmm. But people are always going to have something to say. If there was no social media, people would not really be saying much. It wouldn't get anywhere. It'd just be like amongst their little circle. Mm-hmm. Like in high school, when you think about like your little crew. Well, you know what? You know what? Hey, Tiana. Huh? It was not the first black Disney prince. Well, I don't know. I'm just saying that's all I know of. Brandy did Cinderella. Oh, yeah. Like, was that Broadway? No. It was a live action movie, Cinderella. Oh, I don't think I watched that. You never seen. Mm -mm. Oh. Uh uh. You never seen Cinderella with her and Whitney Houston? Mm, no, I don't think I remember that. Impossible. <laughs> Child, are you serious? I I can't remember if I did. I don't think so. Wait, wait. Oh my oh Lord. I, I know, I know. So. Oh God. I think I need to give you an intervention. <laughs> You stupid. <laughs> Wait a minute. Hold on. This is can't this can't be this can't be true. She over here trying to find this is girl. Girl. She out here trying to find something to show. I can't believe it. Impossible for a plain yellow pumpkin to become a golden carriage. Impossible. For a plain country pumpkin and a Christian tree. I can't see nothing. No, I remember that. Impossible. Impossible. Girl, that is the... <laughs> oh, God. Oh. Girl, I, 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 we know who you are. Look, he doesn't um, like anything Disney animated that is her scene. animated live 
soup that ain't my rolls. thing like that. Mm-mm. But yeah, um, I, I don't think I've seen that one. Sorry. Mm. Hurt my heart. <laughs> hurt my heart. <laughs> Speaking of hurting my heart, and we talking about Disney. Good segue. <sighs> We just got news today that Cameron Boise of the Descendants and Jesse has passed away today in his sleep. Mm. I am hurt. I don't know him, but R.I.P. I am hurt. Like I've watched, I've watched Cameron grow up, Mm-mm-mm. and you know. Descendants three come out in like a couple of weeks. Um, so if a lot of people don't know what Descendants, what that is, all of the villains in like Disney movies, like uh, Corella, um, who else can I say? Um, uh, I think Captain Hook. Hmm. Um, who else is oh, one of the other? I can't think of the other ones. So anyway, but all their all of their children basically have a spinoff on Disney. So it's you know it's three of them, three of those movies out on Disney Channel. Mm. So this is the third season. Um, so I'm about to watch this. Like, damn, Cameron. Wow, passed away in his sleep. Due to medical, he had seizures. Mm. Sad. Yeah, sad. Twenty years old, right? Yep, twenty years old. There's a lot going on. Um, the biggest thing that happened in New York City was this uh this garbage truck, sanitation truck, um, lost control. And came off a top street onto a main road, the busiest road at that, which connects to the Lincoln Tunnel. Came out that the brakes failed. Oh, damn. So what he was trying to do, he only suffered a a broken shoulder or a dislocated shoulder and um, like some head scratches on his head, which was amazing. Like nobody died. There was 17 injuries, not life-threatening. And no fatalities. That was like the best thing ever. It was like literally like a miracle. So no. So that what you showed me on on Friday. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That. So he said what he was trying to do was try to run into anything that can help him slow down. Mm, that makes sense. So he ran into a van. He ran into a pole. He ran into something else, and that's what kind of slowed it up. And then that's when he like slid right off that. Bankman. Yeah. Right onto a highway. Just to see, oh my gosh. Um, everybody saw it because it was trending heavy. Like mm-hmm. there's no way you missed this. Because everybody's like that, you know that um that video that's floating around with the black uh reporter when she stopped that dude uh, Girl, uh, walking in front. She, she stopped was, him like she was reporting that. Eye. Oh, that's what she was reporting? Yeah, she was reporting the um, Lincoln Tunnel situation. Oh. Yeah, and like when she stopped that dude, because that's how New Yorkers are. They don't care. They're not looking. They on. They doing what they do. They walk right in front of you with no problem. She stopped that dude so fast. I was like, go ahead now. Shut it down. This is how I'm going to be blocking people in my life. <laughs> mm, mm, mm. Yeah. So it was just like, man, crazy. You know, if I had never would have checked, the alerts for the Lincoln Tunnel, the bus terminal, I would have been in my feelings had I went to the Port Authority to get turned away because they were not letting anybody get into the Port Authority. They shut the doors. They locked the doors and were like telling people they got to go. So everyone who looked prior to or listened to the news or whatever knew to go straight to Penn Station. Don't even stop at 42nd Street. Get off at 34th Street. Mm-hmm. And hop on a, a on a, on a train because they were cross honoring tickets. So I was like, all right, that's all you got to tell me. Anytime they say they can cross honor, I'm like, oh, I'm gonna get home early. Lies. <laughs> it took me two hours, but it was just like, look, and I had to stand up. So it's whatever. As long as I was getting home, I still got home at five thirty, so it's still kind of mm-hmm. cool. But yeah, that was crazy. So that was big news for New York. Um, man, when I saw that, oops. When I saw that, I was like, whoa. 
But um, oh yeah, and other big news: Miss Corey Coco Goff, the 15-year-old tennis player who defeated Venus. And she's still defeating mother. What? It should be somebody on Friday. Come on now, I love seeing us and stuff. Honey, black folks, it's a good time to be black. And to be honest with you, you don't understand me. It's a lot. Of, it's a lot of things happening. Yes, they have been happening, but it's just yes. now being recorded. But still, when they see us, right, literally. But right now, I, I really feel like it's a great time to being black. It's always been a great time to be black. To be honest with you, yeah. I'm sorry. But just like, man, just seeing us get like the recognition that we deserve in mm-hmm. certain areas, it's just. It's, it's dope. Not waiting until we're gone. Right. Know, celebrate. Celebrate what people are alive. Shoot. That's what's up. We still ain't got no topic. We're just going with the flow. Let it flow today. Let it, let it flow. Well, we can go off of uh, today's message, Reclaiming My Life. Cause that's what I'm doing. Shoot, I have been through so much this year, and I feel like a lot of people have been through a lot. But it's just all about how you kind of like, I guess, pick and choose your mm-hmm. battle. Sometimes you, you whew, sometimes you give you know things a little bit too much energy. Mm-hmm. To the point where, like, it goes back to when we were talking about complaining, where you fall into that. And other times, there's stuff that don't even, like, shake you. Like, stuff that would, like, phase other people don't even phase you no more. Or at all, for that matter. So, for me, I had a good weekend. It's like a fresh start, you know, to my seventh month. I got through January, February, March, April, May, June. We are seven days in to the seventh month. So... I'm still standing. Keita's still standing. I'm still Y'all standing. Y'all still standing. standing. Just standing. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. Everybody standing. Stand up. Stand up. Yeah, so you like, get your focus on. Put your big girl panties on. Put your big boy drawers on. Yes, drawers with an L in there somewhere. Mm. You know? And just press on. Don't stop when it get rough. That's how you know you're getting somewhere. <laughs> Go through the storm. Right. Go through that, Jay. Because what happens after the storm? There you go the sun. Hello. <laughs> you're so stupid. Just saying. Look at a rainstorm, man. As soon as that storm go away, what happened? Rainbow. Open. Oh, Mr. Sun. Sun. Yeah, that thing. Yeah. Just saying. So that's my little piece. Because I got my piece back. But how do you get your piece back? That's the question. Well, from what you said on the episode a couple weeks ago, Maria, Miss B, gets her piece and her energy, I guess, recharged at church. So being around other people who are going through things, um, just hearing a good word, um, talking things out, uh, not letting it build up. Mm -hmm. I think that's how I get my piece back. How you get your piece back? How I get my piece back? Yeah, how you get it back? Um, It's funny because yesterday... I had this, uh, I woke up around seven. Well, I wasn't, you know how you be up with your eyes still closed type of situation. <laughs> Got the coal in your eye. <laughs> <laughs> so I was up, but not really fully up. And I was like, mm, maybe I should go down to the river. And I was like, mm, I'm fine. I ain't doing that today. And then around eight, someone was like, no, you need to go now. Turn this river. This is the second time it done came up. 
No, I've, I've been going on it for for a while. The river's a geologist. So I'm in the beginning, we talked about some river. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. So I I got up, I rushed out the house, um, get down because I ain't want to be down there, and you know everybody started coming, interrupting my peace and what I'm trying to do. Mm-hmm. And I kind of you know I stayed out there for like I want to say about 30, 40 minutes, mm-hmm. kind of just like listen to the the rushing waters and you know feel. Water. Hmm. Infinite with diving deep. Um. Uh, you know, just sitting out there and reflecting and mm-hmm. um, listening to nature and like I think I was good, but like I said, I think I don't know what happened yesterday. My my head just started hurting, but I I felt at peace. You probably were thinking too much. That's the problem. I'm not even stressed out about nothing. No, not you. Don't got to be stressed out to be like. You know. No, but I'm saying I wasn't stressed out. I wasn't thinking about nothing. I was just like there, like, mm. just in it. Just in the zone. Mm-hmm. I get that. I definitely get that. But yeah, peace is everything, man. Once that's once that's messed up or shifted or off, you off. Right. Mm-mm. You know, a lot of people don't know about that inner joy. Like, you're just supposed to be happy just because you don't know about that. Right. These days, it's like something needs to make me happy. <coughs> needs to make me happy. People need stuff to make them happy? Yeah. It's not like they're happy from within. It's like something happened, now I'm happy. Somebody bought me this, I'm happy. Somebody did this for me, I'm happy. But that's not true happiness. Right. That's what I'm getting at. It's based it's based on it's based on um uh what's the word I'm looking for? Damn. Mm. It's from within. Yeah. If you can't be happy by yourself, how do you expect to be happy with other people? That part. Mm-hmm. When I hear a lot of people say they home by themselves and they bored, I barely say I'm bored. Right. When I'm home, ain't nobody here. Because I live alone, but I'm just saying, just being home with nobody. Right. Oh, I'm gonna find stuff to do now. I'm gonna sit on that couch. I'm a. I'm a put on a song. I'm dance my little self mm-hmm. off. Like I be finding anything and everything to make me happy. Whatever. I don't need right. stuff. Like for me, I'm because I'm the same way, and it it I must I must be really in a certain space if I'm if I'm like yeah I'm just I'm 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 bored in the house and I'm I'm a, I'm a go like I really have to be mm-hmm. because I'm I'm quick to be like no I'm good right I'm trying to make up every excuse in the world not to go nowhere and that's Keep how me. I am now yeah right. remember Keep you me going somewhere Mm-mm. no no I I got Kamari. <laughs> my 20s what used to be what when really I used to be, run be like that half the time but you yeah. know no. my 20s was when I partied hard like every weekend work hard play hard and I was modeling so I was doing a lot I was so busy mm-hmm. doing um church and you know the functions and just really busy I hit that 30 J you know the party and kind of slowed up where mm-hmm. I kind of wasn't doing it much, you know, like, and when I say partying in the 20s, I'm talking about night parties, 10 p.m. on. I don't do those parties anymore. I'm doing, like, when the sun up, that's when you're going to catch me out. Right. After the sun down, now I'm good. Time to roll out because it's a different crowd coming in, and I don't need that type of energy around me. Exactly. Everything get crazy. You know, people don't know how to handle they stay alcohol and stuff. So it's time to exit. And it's a younger crowd, obviously. So that's another thing that you got to add on to that layer. Um, Well, that's another layer you need to add on. Um, But yeah, like nowadays, it's literally like I have finally learned how to put me first. Because I've always put everybody else before me. Right. I put everybody else before me. And all it did was deplete me of my peace, my uh, 
Yeah, really that. Mm -hmm. Everything was used up. And as you pour out, there's nobody pouring back in. And that is the problem. You pouring out to 50 some people. That's like when a, that's like when a pastor preach, right? Mm-hmm. After he done for like so let, let's let's say like a guest preacher, guest preacher comes up, preaches hard. At the end of his his message, he's so drained, sweating crazy. He sits down. What happens? The actual pastor of the church comes up and says a prayer to pour back in mm-hmm. to the to the guest preacher. Mm-hmm. It's like that. When you pour out to your friends. The majority of them, they're not pouring back into you. All they know is they need to take what they need, and that's it. You only probably get like a good two, three that will pour back into you. I'm just saying. That's been like, you know, a tough experience. Like, you there for everybody all the time, using up all your energy, like, giving all this stuff all the time. Time is like the most valuable thing ever. I don't care if somebody tried to give me $40 million. And... You took 12 years from me. I'm just going off of, you ain't watch it, but when they see us, like, mm-hmm. they get $40 million, but they lost 12 years' time. That money don't mean nothing at all. You can, yeah, you can buy all the stuff you want, but at the same time, you can't go back mm-hmm. and, and, and go through all of those experiences because you're not in that space no more. So that's why I say time is better than everything. Like, you got to know your worth these days. Because people will take whatever they need and leave you high and dry. Yeah, I I tried to explain that to somebody a couple weeks, well, last week or a week and a half ago. And I really thought they would understand what I was saying because they said they were so, you know, conscious, whatever Uh, you want to call it. And I I was literally telling them, I said, listen... I say you can't be in a room full of people that you that you have to pour into and and you think they're gonna pour back. They can't. Because mm-hmm. if they were, you wouldn't have been pouring into them. Mm-hmm. I said, so oh, I said, yeah, it's okay to be around people that you gotta pour into because that may be your purpose. Mm-hmm. You have to start surrounding yourself around people that can pour into you. Come on, and that's what they say. Look at your circle. Right. Cause if you are the only person in the room mm-hmm. that has the yeah, abundance. Yeah, of pouring into other people, who going to fill you up? Who going to fill you up, boo? Because obviously they can't afford to fill your damn cup up. Hmm. Because our cup running over. So while you, while you filling them up, you, you pouring into five different people. Now you empty. And now you drain. Now you trying to figure out what's going on. Why you so drained? Why ain't got no energy? Why this? Why that? Because you, you're surrounding yourself around people that can't pour back in you. Whether it, whether it's time, whether it, it's support, whether it's it's whatever money, yeah. So if you if they can't do the same for you, what you expecting? Gee. Yeah. Now you got to go. Now you got to go off and and recharge by yourself. But now you got to add it to because you you ain't talking to folks because you over here trying to get your life back. Mm-hmm. So you the bad guy now. After you done gave stuff already. They still ain't get what they want, but they got what they needed. Mm-hmm. Okay. That was a message. Did you catch it? They didn't get what they want, but they got what they needed. Oh! Hoo-wee! If you didn't catch that, you better catch it again. They didn't get what they want, but they got what they needed. Oh, you preaching today, eh? Hello! <laughs> catch that word, look. Brought to you by Miss B. You stupid. <laughs> You better catch these little things. Like I'm telling you, we be hitting gems and don't even know. This would be coming out of nowhere. You be like, that thing is fell out the sky. Right. <laughs> what? Come mm-hmm. on and show them over that. But yeah, um, I, I learned my lesson of being a yes person as far as like people have all these events and I say yes right off the bat mm-hmm. before I check me. So now I've been like slow to respond, slow to say yes. Mm-hmm. And it's been the greatest thing I could have ever changed because you can't be at every event. There's mm-hmm. no way. You can't even be your full self because you haven't even recovered All right. from the other few events you're at. So, yeah. It's a lot. You got to get people to pour back into you, man. Sure. Hello. 
And if you have to keep explaining that to people and they still not catching it, those are the wrong folks. Sure. It, it's, it was funny. Period. <clears throat> it was funny because yesterday I was watching Ayana Ben's I keep thinking I'm saying her name, y'all. Ayanla. Ayanla. I. Yeah. That one. La. I was watching her um, episode yesterday, and I was watching a few of her episodes, mm-hmm. and um, one of them it was talking about this woman she's married she's you know she's a lesbian she's married or whatever and her mom stays with them the mother keeps lashing out at the wife mm. saying that you know you're a devil i rebuke you da, 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 da. just 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 causing a toxic environment in the house between you know the the, the married couple Right. And it's like you forgetting that you in my house. Mm-hmm. You call you saying I'm the devil and you rebuke me. What about your you saying the same thing about your daughter? Mm-hmm. And come to find out the mom, the mom was alcoholic and a crack mm-hmm. baby. So she's very codependent upon her daughter. Mm-hmm. And the daughter not realizing, and I Ayala told her yesterday, she was like. She said, you're still operating. She said, you're still operating from that mindset of that, of that little girl that had to take care of her mom. Mm. That saw her mom getting drunk, saw her mom getting high, and you had to step up and, adult, and, and parent your, your mother. So you, 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 you got PTSD? Hmm. So now you, you so worried about your mom and making sure she okay, like, and then you forgetting about yourself. That's crazy, yo. Yeah. Mm-mm-mm. Cause sometimes we be forgetting, like, yo, we got to take care of ourselves first. Cause if we don't, then who will? Who right. will? Right. And that's where I fell short for a couple of years. You know when people say, "Ah, oh, I'm so glad it's the end of the year. I can't wait to the new year." I said right. that for like years on top of years on top of years. And I finally realized, I'm like, you're doing the exact same thing. Right. Expecting a whole fresh start and no, it's just not going to be that. Right. So once I decided to be like, you know what? I'm done for, for I'm done, done. Like done, done, done. Mm-hmm. Until you do that, things going to remain the same. Like seriously. But. Yanla, her shows are always on point, man. That whole uh, Braxton family one, the fact that they had her, T.D. Jakes, and another celebrity therapist, and they still couldn't fix the issues that they had between all of the sisters and the parents. Because, you know, like, when you have a big family, how the parents are is how the kids are kind of going to be. Mm-hmm. If the parents, you know, uh, can't stand one another, haven't even, you know, um, what's the word, got over the things that they were going through, it's going to spoil over because when that family gets broken up where the father moves out or the mother moves out and the kids are split between households, mm-hmm. if y'all are not great co-parents, because, you know, there's great co-parents and there's parents who just exist and they're just like, look, they talk bad about this one. You know, the, this parent to the kid, right? And then the other way around, when they go, when the kid go to the other one, it's just like, yo, they them kids gonna be so messed up to the exactly. point they don't even know how to be in relationships. They don't know, even know how to interact with people or how to face conflict. Exactly. And that is, I feel why, and I hate to say it, but this is the only experience that I have. It's the black community because I see it so much in families, my family, whatever. People go through stuff, they get hurt by other people, and they don't know how to go through the emotion. Mm-hmm. They don't know how to, you know, express how they feel without arguing, getting loud, mm-hmm. you know, walking away. Because that's the easiest thing for somebody to do is to walk off. Tamar Braxton is known as the queen of walking off in the middle of a heated argument because she doesn't feel like dealing with it. So everything keeps getting swept under a rug mm-hmm. and nothing gets fixed. 
nothing gets solved. And that's one of the main things that Ayala kept asking people yesterday. Mm-hmm. Have you ever seen your parents go through conflict? And it was like, Ooh. no, not really. And it was like, that's the thing. Yep. You don't know how to, you, you don't know how to, you, yeah. you don't know how to deal with it. It's true. You don't know what to do. And that's saying, but, but then it's like, people don't want to argue in front of the, their right. kids because you don't want them to think that there's something wrong, you know? Yeah. But then you have the other people on the other side of it where they do argue in front of their kids. Right. But that's not healthy at all. It's, no. You know, it's not they, healthy. They bring that right to school. Mm-hmm. Right to school. You wonder why the kid, they try to say the kid got a learning disability, but no, it ain't even that. It's something going on in their household and they can't even focus. They got so much going on. It's like a busy, it's like a, um, what they call that? Oh man. It's like a machine that's like, like the little, what are those things called? What things? Think of like a bicycle, that thing. Oh, the wheels? Yeah, it's like it's oh, going. It's, it's, whew, it's going crazy mm-hmm. in their brain. And they can't even focus. Because I, I, I firsthand can say stuff that I battle outside of work when I'm at work and I'm trying to battle that stuff or trying to cut it off, I can't cut it off. So it messes up the focus mm-hmm. of what I'm supposed to be doing at work. Right. It's the worst place to be in. Worst place. Cause I, I know when I get to a place, if I'm having a, you know, sometimes some things can start off as a discussion or mm. a con- you know conversation, whatever. Yep. And then my biggest thing I hate, and this I hate, and it pisses me off every time. If we're having a conversation or we're trying to, to come to an understanding about something. And you're constantly, constant, constantly the only one that's talking, and you're not letting anybody explain themselves. Now I feel like I'm being silenced, mm. and I'm not being heard. Mm-hmm. So that pisses me off. Hmm. And at that point, I zone out because I don't want to hear nothing else. Because right. it's like you don't want to hear what I have to say. So why should I listen to you? Right. Yeah. When you're having a conversation and you're trying to compromise, you're trying to communicate. Communication goes both ways. It doesn't go you, you talk and the other person just listen. You mm-hmm. need, it needs to be done. We ha- there are topics. There's a bullet. Mm-hmm. Here, here's my issue with you. I'm telling you, I don't like when you do this. Da 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 da. You need to tell the person. So you need to say, you know, I don't like when you when I when I, I don't like when. I I uh, feel like I uh, I reach out to you, I communicate to you, you don't say anything. Da 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 da. So the other person should have a rebuttal. Well, this is the reason why this is happening. Da 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 da. Not I don't like when when I reach out to you and you don't communicate, you don't talk back and I don't feel like you appreciate anything I do and da 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 and da 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 and da 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 and plus, you think you this and da 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 da. And I tried to do it. And it's like, and so now you don't say all that. And I, I'm still trying to get back to the part where we're talking about hmm. communicating. And now, now after that, I done missed everything I done tried to say to you. And, and now I'm confused because you don't talk for like 40 minutes. Or you get, I don't like when you do or when you say because mm-hmm. it makes me feel blah, blah, blah. Mm-hmm. They go, well, I don't like when you do this. Okay, see, see, there's the argument right there. Because mm-hmm. you didn't hear a word I just said. Mm-hmm. You just want to go tit for tat, tit for tat. Mm-hmm. You say, I don't do this. Okay, you don't do this either. Every time I come home, the dishes in the sink. Mm-hmm. Um, so you're missing what I just said. Like, you, you're not hearing what I'm saying. All right. Well, when I do this, again, you're not, you're not listening. The whole, God gave you two ears for a reason. And one mouth. Mm-hmm. Two ears. One mouth. Right. Your mouth doing double time when it's not supposed to. Right. So the goal in a conversation is someone speaks, you are listening to what they're saying, and you're forming a response based on what they're saying, not based on how you want to come at them next. Right. You settle this person's point first, then you state your case. But it don't work like that. Right. It's always a shouting match. Whoever gets loud, the next one got to get louder. The other one gets cut off. Then here comes the hand movements. 
Mm, then attitude. Then yes, and nothing gets done. You sat there for a whole hour and just got fumed up. Like I told you, after a while, if I can't explain my, if you're not giving me a time to, if you're not giving me opportunity to to explain myself after the first point that you made, hmm. keep going and going and going, I no longer have anything else, and I'll just let you talk. Yeah, I can't. I, I can't. That's not effective. Yeah, that's good that you're able to just sit there and be quiet. See me, I go all the way to I'm like like red in the face. Now I'm fired up. Oh, I'm fired up, but I'm just quiet now. No, I have I'm nothing a, else to say. Like I'd be like the true Aries for real. Be looking. Ooh, I, ooh, we zero to two thousand in seconds. Mm-hmm. So that's the part I don't like to be at. I hate to get out of character. See, anytime I feel myself getting to that point, mm-hmm. I tell the person or people, whoever, mm-hmm. let I, I'm a, I'm gonna call you back. Mm-hmm. I don't want to discuss this right now because yeah. at that point, I'm either trying to stop myself from saying something I'm gonna regret, mm-hmm. gonna hurt your feelings, mm-hmm. and I'm trying to be an adult about the situation because mm-hmm. if you keep if you keep if you keep pressing the button, mm-hmm. and I after I done said, hey, you know, leave me alone. Poking that bear. That we'll bear. talk about this later. Mm-hmm. And if you can't, if you can't, if you can't understand that, then I. Mm. That's like a, that's it's it's irritating to me. Yeah, it is. I'm obviously know my I obviously know my threshold, <laughs> and you're going over it. Yeah, and it's like when you know where that tick is, mm-hmm. you in a good spot. See, I learned the hard way. Now I know <laughs> how to be more effective. Just you gotta choose your battles. I fail. Everybody fails sometimes. Mm-hmm. I failed last week. Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> I'm still a work in progress. Shoot, we talked about perfection. We talked about that. They shut me down. They told me off. I, I I received it. I didn't deny it. That's the one thing I don't do. I don't deny nothing. Like I said, y'all told me I cut people off fast. Sure do. Didn't deny that at all. Hmm. Mm-mm. My bad. This chair is like squeaking. I'm right. gonna be chair. Y'all gonna hear this the whole time because I'm rocking as this conversation keeps going. Rock rocking on. But um. Yeah, man. Keep your head up. <laughs> for real, for real. Didn't have no topic, but had a topic. Right. Yeah, I was telling uh, somebody yesterday, I was talking to a coworker last week. And you know how people usually usually say, um, damn, they'll be like, Mark, they'll be like, Keita, why you always look so mean? <laughs> so I was having a conversation with um, um, a friend or associate uh, a couple weeks ago. And he and he was like, you always looking so mean with your mean ass. I said, I'm not mean. <laughs> I know you're not mean, but I'm just saying you just got that look. So I had to really, really ask myself, mm-hmm. why do you have that look on your face? And then I thought about it. I was like, I don't need to have this look on my face anymore because that right. came with childhood trauma. Mm. And I'm over that. Mm-hmm. So I was naturally carrying a look on my face because there was a defense mechanism for people to right. leave me alone. Right. So I hmm. was like, damn. Dang. I was like, that's a, I said, damn, that's a good ass enlightened. And I, I was, I'm, and I'm an enlightened. I'm about to enlighten myself. When you catch that though, best thing ever. Because it's like, I don't need to, like, all the stuff that I did. Well, all the stuff that I well to to put that wall up, the mm-hmm. facial expressions, the right, the um, um, even the way I interact with with men. Mm. Um, the way now I've never had a, a issue with the man. Not I've never had an issue. Well, I only had one dude in my life that led well right I really want 
my, when I was married. But mm-hmm. if I know the man can lead, I'll let him lead. There you go. I have no problem with doing that. So that's not an issue. I never did anything to make a, uh, to kill a man's ego or anything like that either. But knowing just how I interact with them, mm. because I don't, I don't do the, the flirtatious thing. I do, but I don't. It's more like, are oh, you stupid? Punching an arm. Nah, love tap. Not even a, no, it's not even a love tap. That's just how I, it's like, Mm-hmm. What up? I'm like, what up? <laughs> oh, I'm hit. I hit the ass real hard or something. It just comes from a defense mechanism. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I'm like, damn, I don't have to do none of this shit no more. I don't have to take this. Right. I was waiting for you to finish it. She don't remember. I'm going home. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but yeah it's true like you learn a lot man because I always bring this up in conversation like when it comes to work you know because you're, you're with your co-workers more than you are with your family mm-hmm. and you have to deal with so many different personalities and you're mm-hmm. wondering why certain people don't react the way you want them to react mm-hmm. and it's because there's this thing called Myers-Briggs and a lot of big corporations, you know, try to do this to see what type of individual they have working there. Mm-hmm. And you have like the introverts versus the extroverts, but the introvert has two categories and so does the extrovert. Mm-hmm. So it's like once you figure out which introvert you are and which extrovert you, extrovert you are, then you really understand why when you ask a question in a meeting, why certain people don't say nothing until the next day or weeks after. Mm. like introverts the way they get their their peace is they have to get away from people and gather their thoughts whereas extroverts they need to be around people to soak up energy to get their energy up rather and are able to like speak right on the fly they Mm -hmm. don't have to think through stuff because they already have it they right on the wind like boom Mm -hmm. so when i realized like the people that i work with why they would never respond in the meeting i used to be like why you didn't say nothing and they'd be like what do you mean? Like, why do you say nothing? You know, half the time people are too nervous to say stuff because they feel like they'll sound dumb or, you know, some people be like, that's stupid, you know, whatever. But after taking that myers break thing, I, I really realized a lot more about people mm-hmm. and how, you know, yeah, how to kind of interact with them. We hated it at first, but you know, being in those little sessions, those breakout sessions and mm-hmm. having to like work through different um, scenarios and stuff. I hated doing that. But then it's just like how everybody just started to come together and think based off of their strengths. Mm-hmm. It was just like, okay, I see how this, I see this thing. I see that now. But I was like, I'm an introvert at work. Unless we real cool, then you really going to catch the extrovert. But I'm more introverted at work. Right. I ain't trying to give y'all all that. All that. Um, whoop, 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 whoop. Nope. We ain't doing all that. Catch me outside. How about a dad? <laughs> Yo. But what you ain't gonna do is disrespect my time, my energy, my peace, my mental headspace, my happiness, and my joy. You're not coming off. Mm-mm. You're not coming for those. at all so i got to guard my stuff yes I'm... your time is everything time is money time. i got money my got money word word guard your time just guard your time <laughs> <laughs> mm. but yeah episode 62 y'all I can't even say get your life because that was like episode number one no that was get yourself together right <laughs> so I still don't know what the title be but it will be something along those lines right still a cool conversation though because you know we random sometimes it be like that you know 
it's hard. If you if y'all on the podcast, y'all know how hard it is to come up with a with a topic each week. Sometimes it's, it's sometimes it's best to just let things flow. That's how you get to you know you get natural mm-hmm. responses and reactions and you know it's not something you, you, we already thinking about we talking about and mm-hmm. scripted in our head it's just like you know this is who i am that is a true and true yeah so again y'all know where to find us on all the streaming platforms iHeartRadio, google Podcasts, stitcher spotify tune in youtube go ahead and watch us Comment, subscribe. We've been we've been getting a few responses and uh you know comments and stuff so, and a few subscribers so yeah it's kind of mm-hmm. cool it's, it's picking up but we need some more y'all come through. Um yeah y'all can shoot us a note via DM on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, four one five pod or shoot us an email at the four one five pod at gmail dot com. Word. So yeah, it's your girls Miss B and Keita. It's that show. You dig? Hmm. Word. Peace out. Peace.